Meanwhile, uh, going to uh, the camp of the defending champions, defender Lucas Hernandez has been ruled out of the rest of the World Cup because of knee injury he picked up in the victory against Australia. The 26-year-old Bayern Munich left-back ruptured the anterior cruciate ligament of his right knee in the defending champions 4-1 opening game victory last night. Several key France players, including Real Madrid's Karim Benzema, were injured before the tournament started. The extent of Hernandez's injury was confirmed by an MRI scan on Wednesday morning. He went down clutching his knee in the 13th minute in the build-up to Australia's opening goal. Hernandez was replaced by his brother, Theo Hernandez, who plays for AC Milan, uh, and France recovered from going behind to take control of the Group D game. I think that injuries have been uh, one of the key talking points around Qatar 2022. Uh, like I just mentioned, France have been badly hit in midfield. Uh, they've missed out on the services of Paul Pogba. Uh, they've missed out on the services of Ungolo Conte uh, and a couple of other players. Uh, Karim Benzema, of course, uh, who is the uh, reigning Ballon d'Or holder uh, named Best Player in the World. Uh, and a lot of people were hoping that, you know, he comes to this World Cup you know, scores as many goals as he needs to help France uh, progress and then he'll cement his place as the best player in the world uh, for the year 2022. But unfortunately, uh, he also picked up an injury uh, towards the end of this season. And it begs the question uh, again about, I mean, it's been an exciting World Cup so far, um, but it begs the question about the, the amount of time uh, that players, clubs, national teams, you know, have had between uh, the break from domestic football uh, and the start of the World Cup. Just last week, Saturday, um, or the Saturday before this last Saturday and Sunday, players were still at their clubs, slugging it out, running into tackles, you know, trying to get all three points. And, you know, less than 10 days later, some teams are already preparing for their second game at the World Cup. Um, you know, and, and this also plays into uh, some of the results we're seeing. Uh, because the big result from today, uh, like I did mention, is demand shafts, that's Germany, uh, losing two goals to one to Japan. Uh, just like Argentina yesterday, Germany you know, took the lead from the penalty spot, Ilkay Gondoran, uh, with the goal uh, for Germany. Uh, but Japan rallied around, found a way back, you know, and secured all three points. You know, I still think that, look, this, these countries have players coming from different parts of the world. They've not had time to, you know, come together, train. Uh, I mean, they've just been thrown into the deep end, uh, straight away from club football. And they have to be slugging it out uh, in the biggest uh, football competition in the world. Uh, some will say, well, I mean, it's the same for Japan. Uh, but maybe not so. Some of these countries have halted their leagues. Uh, some of these smaller countries, for instance, Qatar, halted their leagues in September uh, because of the World Cup. Because, you know, they wanted to get their players together to train. But, you know, the big countries don't have that luxury with many of their players slugging it out in four competitions especially those in England and France. Anyway, uh, France, unfortunately, uh, with yet another injury, uh, we do hope that uh, Lucas Hernandez uh, will be fine very, very soon.